So I'm going to go take a walk downtown today. I am lucky enough that my studio is located within walking distance and it's really nice to just get out. It's, it's really hot out there, uh, hence the tank top, but it is a beautiful day and I need to go to the post office and I also want to bring my Holga along and just take some pictures. There are some new apartment, I believe they're apartments or condos that they're putting up. And right now they just have the elevator shafts, just the concrete shafts up. And it looks like something that I really want to lift print from my Holga. <laughs> of the towers I was talking about right here but the Sun is in a little bit of a different spot than I would like it to be I'm gonna take the pictures though still um, last time I was here I didn't have any filters um, especially with lift printing it might it might look really cool but I thought I would come back out and even though there are some I mean you can clearly see there's some clouds in the sky I'm going to go ahead and shoot with I believe I have an orange filter and then probably a red filter. So the most important part of shooting with the Holga is to take the lens cap off because it's kind of a rangefinder style and you can definitely take some pictures with the lens cap on and then wonder what the hell happened. So not that I've done that, but you can also do really cool double exposures um, with it as well because you have, to, you have to manually advance the film. So let me see, I have, I had just a, a kind of a plethora of different lenses here. This is, I think I'm gonna use an orange and a red. And this is a, that's a yellow. So this is an O, an OG. This is an OG filter. So this is an OG filter. I'm not sure how much light it actually blocks. I'm assuming like probably a stop and a third, stop and a half. I'm gonna use that one and the red. And what I'm gonna do with the Holga, I think, is just because it's bright sun so i'm just going to put it on cloudy and that should give me more exposure hopefully enough to compensate for the filter and i'm just going to hold this over the lens because this doesn't have any filter threads and i'm going to put this at mountain because i feel like that's i'm kind of shooting for the top of that and i feel like it's kind of far away so i'm going to put these in my pocket and let's see i've got Oh, I've got like uh, eight frames. So yeah, I don't think I'll need to shoot another roll, at least not today. Just because, like I said, I wanted, I wanted more shadow, like a line shadow in there, but it still might be really cool. And then I'm not so sure there's, there's a little bit of clouds in the sky and stuff. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, I'm on shade, mountain. These are the settings. I love this camera. It's so, it's so, uh, it's so no think, just compose. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and take these pictures. I kind of envision these as just on a stark, stark blue, you know, neutral sky without clouds and the structure kind of taking up most of the, as much of the frame as I could. So this one's gonna have a little bit of clouds in it. But that might look pretty cool too. So I developed that film and it looks really, really good. So I am gonna do something a little bit special to me. Um, I have a ton of paper here in this freezer and tomorrow's my birthday. So I'm gonna take some of this paper out. Um, I've had it in the freezer for a long time and this is all, most of it is paper that does lift. Um, so they're papers that I can't get anymore. And I'm also gonna use, I'm gonna try like an LD20 lift developer, which is a lift developer I can no longer get anymore. I'm always waiting for this like perfect project or in whatnot. And so I decided, you know, I'm gonna break, break some of this paper out and go ahead and use it. Um, let me take a look at what I actually have here. Ow, sorry, my dingy, in my dingy basement. 
All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is go past the drumsticks. And I know it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but I have a ton of paper down there. Actually, more than that. Let me see what we got. Try not to, try not to waste the food, the poor shrimp. Oh my goodness, yes, we got some paper. Ah, I forgot what I actually even had down here. So, we got some Agfa, some Emacs. What is this? A whole bunch of Forte. Let me see, Portriga. Move over pizza. Well, I'm definitely gonna go with this Agfa multi-contrast. So I settled on Emacs grade two. Agfa multi-contrast MCC. This is fine grade matte, but it looks like there's some Broveria in here. So there's a couple different kinds of paper in here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. And then as well as the Foma, this is again, I have so many favorite papers, but this is the Foma Brahm variant 123BO. And I have um, look like three or four boxes of this, and this is just a beautiful paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in the dark room and have some fun lift printing with some stuff that I've been kind of hoarding and need to, need to use. And this looks like these are some beautiful negatives that I wanna do that with. So let's get out of my dingy basement and get in the dark room. I did forget how time consuming lift printing can actually be. So I didn't get through all the papers. And what I plan on doing is uh, playing around with some toners and trying to get an image that I really like so that I can lift print some of the other negatives. Cause I did only stick to that one negative. I only had a couple hours in here. So I did stick to the one negative, but I do like them. Some of them I wish I, I'd gone a little bit darker with. Um, so I might revisit that at another point, but I think right now I'm gonna play around with the toners and just see if I can get a really solid look that I like and then go through the other negatives and, and print some of the other ones in the same way. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. 